<laughs> the best brother of all time. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Tish, and here on Alan's Ever After, we do lifestyle vlogs. Our whole world will change while stepping into love. So we just took the kids to Starbucks to get some Frappuccinos and Helby got a passion fruit iced tea. How was it? It's alright. <laughs> it's not something you would want to get or drink again. I, mean, I might. I, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't put one lady in the next time. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Girls of Inspiration, y'all. Shout out to Girls of Inspiration. If you have not checked out their channel, be sure to head over there and check them out. Let me show y'all what they recommended for us. I had mentioned a couple of videos ago that I was looking for this buffalo plaid rug for the porch. Yeah, I need a, a rug for my porch. I have one, not like this. I have one similar to this one. But I want the one that lays up under it like this. But this is attached to that. But I don't pay no 14 for it. This is what I'm looking for, but it's too big. I need a square one that I can where I can stick something like this on top of it. And um, Girls of Inspiration actually found one on discount. So she messaged me the link and I went ahead and ordered it, y'all. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. At first I had like a red and white plaid rug, but it didn't really match anything. So I ordered that buffalo plaid and I'm ready for fall. So that puts me in the mood for fall. Let me show y'all where I put the red and white plaid rug that I had on the porch originally. So yeah, I just moved it to the balcony and it goes perfect with these pillows I got from the at-home store. So this is my balcony setup, and I do need to find something to put on top of this table, but I do need to clean it off because it's dust and it is outside, and I think that's like pollen and stuff, so I do need to clean that off, but it's so peaceful out here, y'all. So peaceful. Yeah, so hubby and I are supposed to be going to Razoo's later today. We'll take y'all along with us. I have no idea what else we have planned, but we plan on going to Razoo's. You always make me feel like, oh yeah, you You never leave my thoughts alone, yeah, you You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love Yeah, we in this line 
at McDonald's and this is look at them they pulling up too it's like you order everybody your food and they make up. everybody pull up they behind somebody told me they didn't think we'd have no time to film a video at McDonald's <laughs> we're gonna be able to film Lord of the Rings <laughs> parts one and two and during this is going yeah it was it was well it was like five cars in the drive through so and she was in denial I said like, I'm looking at stuff it's not, not to be I, like, I saw five cars <laughs> well, you and me have a different definition of nothing. And that, the reason why we saw five cars is because they're making everybody pull over into these parking spots. We weren't even counting the cars over here because you could only see five in the driveway. And there's <laughs> three <laughs> right here. We yeah. didn't count these cars, so we counted the cars in the driveway. They take your order and they make you go park. And then they bring your food out to you. Like these folks that's pulling out now. Re uh, Mrs. Representative Maxine Waters. That's what she looked like. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably down to her because, you know, she's represented. But if it is, hey. It does look like she does have that hair. I told you. <laughs> reclaiming my time. Okay. Reclaiming Matter my fact, time. Reclaiming my time. I don't even know why they pulled her up because as soon as she parked, here they come with her food. I mean, this is, watch, let's see if these folks pull up and park. Look at them. Let's see if they're going to park. They said the hell with it. Look like they peeling up. Oh no, they sc they scooting on up to parking spot number one. Yeah, they they. Oh no, she got her food and moving on. Yeah, somebody else somehow got their food. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, and we they, didn't they were, order that much us? stuff. They're walking toward us. I hope this is our food. We about to find out. That's one bag. We had a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, thank you. You too. Yeah, of course, McDonald's did not get our order right, so we had to go back to the drive through because they forgot Gabby's chicken nuggets. We had probably to didn't have to, but somebody was flirting with their girlfriend yeah, this, and she wouldn't disturb them. This, Yeah, the little kid was flirting with his little girlfriend, so I was like, I'm not going to mess with him. Just drive back around through the drive through and get these chicken. It was nobody in the drive through this time, so we drove straight through. And, and then, then almost hit somebody. No, they, I didn't almost hit somebody. The little girl, she kept saying, excuse me, excuse me, and she was trying to squeeze through the truck and the drive through yeah, window because she locked herself out of McDonald's. Yeah, she's one of the little workers there. She locked herself out. So she had to get go through the drive through window for somebody to let her in. Like boys. This was an adventurous trip. <laughs> oh, why does it always happen to us? Oh, every time. We probably need to go find somewhere else to go. We probably need to the use McDonald's like alone. pretty messing up our orders, though. Taco, like Taco Bell, Bell boy. Taco, Taco right Bell here. always mess our order up. Every single time. Ordering for five people is there. Where I guess we hit that threshold of confusion. Maybe we should order. Maybe two people can eat at one place <laughs> and three people can eat at the other place, but having five people eat at one place is not working. Gabby, guess what? What? Your big brother did something amazing did for his birthday. He took his birthday money and bought you a prize. <laughs> what could it be? Sure is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hug first. What is this? What is this? What is this? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> this dude right here is the best brother of all time. The best brother of all time. This is the... Bro, should I ever watch this? Young brother. Young brother ain't good as this one. Let me tell you, bro. This one of a kind. My dude. Bro, if I saw like this, this species is extinct. This species of humans is extinct. Do you know how long he's been holding this secret? How long? Couple of days. Couple of days. Yeah. You had no idea, did you? I did not this. So what is it? Um, it is. Oh, hold it. Let me open it. Guys, when bro, whoever made this package, why didn't they give this package to open it? Okay, I'm the master plushie opener. Kinda. Yeah, Gabby has like a billion plushies. Um, then oh, never mind. They did. What to say? Every package has a secret opening. It's always hidden. Damn, it's so soft. Look at that, bro. What is it? <laughs> so, uh, well, basically, it's like a, it's a, so it's a character from Hollow Knight, and oh, it's big enough to fold it too. He looks like a burrito. <laughs> 
So it's a character from the Hollow Knight named Grim. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Jordan, tell everybody what you did for Brayden for your birthday. I did absolutely nothing. Wow. <laughs> Brayden's being a goofball. I love this. Yes. So what did you do for Brayden? I got him a war friend called Grendel. Yes. Isn't that cool? And that was a chunk boy, actually. Well, Brandon's favorite character is on Warframe, but I got a cute fall for Warframe, so I decided, well, why not try to unlock it, which I did. Woo! That is so cool. Bro, Jordan, Jordan is still, one of a kind. Bro, Jordan still knows. I still have a place for Hollow Knight in my heart. He still knows. And he still knows that my favorite character was Grim. He, bro. That was so cool, wasn't it? Yo, thank you. <laughs> Yo, the next time it's Jordan's birthday, we gotta do something very special. I mean, he literally took his birthday money and bought that. How much did it cost? <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yes, I totally just reached into your bank yeah. account. <laughs> yes, I totally did. It yeah, was this. Maybe it's a thank you card. Ooh, oh, that looks cool. Yeah, Let's this is on your jacket. And this is what the actual character looks like. Oh, there it is. There it is. You can actually put that on your jacket. Ooh, I can't. No, no, I'm <laughs> No. Oh, Jordan, you're so no. special.